All right, so once you've got everything disassembled, like we're doing everything all at once, especially the walnut blasting um, and the EGR delete. Now we can put on the parent TGV deletes. So here they are. This is pretty much the final step as we're assembling everything back together now. So we can put them right into place. So we've got the lower or bottom part of the TGV put back in place here now. So put those back in on each side. Here on top of your lower, and it'll line up with your four bolt holes for your intake. And then the other one on the passenger side here. So we can put the top manifold back into place now. You want to line the top manifold up with all of the bolt holes on the TGV deletes and then bolt everything back up together. The bolts go straight through everything, so you got to line it all up. It's pretty hard to see them in place there, but they're a nice subtle black. Just goes well with the color of everything in the engine, obviously. Once you've got them in place here, the last step is just to bolt everything back up together. So this is the OEM TGV, and as you can see, there's these two like butterfly valves inside the TGV. Um, and these, I guess, are solely for emissions purposes from Subaru factory. Um, but obviously this impedes the airflow. You get less airflow um, with this OEM style. So we put the parent TGV deletes in, which have absolutely no valve in there. There's nothing blocking it. So there's just more airflow and it's gonna run smoother, it's gonna run better. That paired with the EGR deletes, um, it's gonna make a huge difference. So we've got the parent TGV deletes in. We've got the top intake manifold in place. We're gonna put the top mount intercooler back on, get everything bolted back up, connect all the hoses back, and we'll be set. All right guys, so it's the next day now and I've just finished installing the final piece of all my mods, which was the boost controller. The TGV deletes that we did yesterday specifically did take a couple hours to do and I'm thankful to have had the help from all my friends who have actually done this before. So they knew what they were doing and they were able to help get it done in about three to four hours. At the same time, we did the walnut blasting which added time on to doing it. But if you're gonna do this, I would really recommend to do the TGVs and the EGRs at the same time because it's all in the same area and you have to take that manifold off to get access to either of them. So you might as well do everything all at once. The TGV deletes and the EGR deletes are probably like the two most beneficial mods that Ron's tuning um, recommends to do if you're gonna be going this route. So that is how to do the TGV deletes. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'll have a link in the description to the parent TGV delete part. You can check it out. It's a special link through me, so if you want to get them, I would really appreciate it if you use that link. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help. Thanks so much for watching guys, and if you enjoyed the video, I'd be thankful if you gave a thumbs up, and I hope you're having a great day or night, whatever it is where you are.